So here we are at my uh, Taffington trading post. It took me a while to figure out what I wanted to do with the Taffington Boathouse, so I decided to make it kind of a trading mall and use that main street that it was built on. Um, try to protect the settlers as much as possible as well, so um, the street is kind of walled on both sides, got some lights, lots of gun emplacements, neon open signs, Minuteman flag, and of course the trading post itself. Clinic, bar, general store, some clothing, things that seem uh, to, to matter to settlers, so less armor and weapons and more other stuff. So let's go up on the wall here for a sec. We'll take a look at kind of the fortifications of the Taffington Trading Post. By the way, sorry for the glare on the screen. I had uh, some trouble between the uh, sun and the television and the camera, so there's a little bit of glare there. It's not your screen, so don't adjust. Um, so that's what the walls of the Taffington Trading Post look like. You got a kind of good look at the main thoroughfare there. I still use the Taffington Trading Post to generate caps via water purification. So I have a fairly large generator, fusion generator in this case. So I could power a lot of water purification systems. Let's go up to the other side of the wall here. I decided not to make the wall something they could walk all the way along. Um, Taffington is usually only attacked from a couple of directions, so. Um, the wall fortifications seem to take care of that. Here's a good overview of the trading post. More guns. Um, and then these guns are angled specifically to uh, take care of things that spawn just outside the wall or just in case, just inside the wall on the street. So they kind of overlook the entire trading post from an internal perspective. Let's head back over to the house here. I tried to uh, re-roof the house as much as possible, not externally so it looks the same as the original roof, but internally to keep everyone dry and safe and warm. Um, as you know, settlers don't really like to have their beds in the water, so got a little uh, workshop here in the main room, picnic table, make sure people eat, couple beds. There's the back door, let's go out on the back deck here. I kind of uh, use some fish stands over there to make sure people didn't fall off the end. I've done nothing with the uh, boathouse itself. I'm not sure what I want to do there. I found that it's really hard to floor over, so I kind of gave up. But I used warehouse roofing in here, and I was able to uh, roof most of it, re-roof most of it. Um, there's a couple of gaps here and there. Um, fortunately, they don't necessarily align with the holes in the ceiling, or roof, excuse me. So, um, tapping is fairly well resealing. It allowed me to put a lot more beds in. Um, like, here's a pretty good gap you can see up there. <clears throat> um, I couldn't get another warehouse floor to fit over there, so... Um, of course, everyone appears wet. That's my favorite part about Fallout is even inside, everything looks wet. So anyway, that's my Taffington training post. Hope you all like it.